Hello, everyone. I uh, hope you can see my presentation. I, I only uh, used two uh, photographs just to show how um, my farming is done. Um, yes, as as, as he already as uh, Rogan already said, my, my name is Johannes Zauner. I'm a farmer in Low Austria. I farm uh, an arable farm, farm about 40 hectares. Um, and next to the farming operation no stuff, I do uh, work for the uh, organization Bodenleben, which is a, a um, an organization, a farmer-based organization with 600 members in Austria and Germany. Um, all those farmers work on the same um, on the same goal, getting better soil health uh, through conservation agriculture or uh, organic farming. Uh, we work together, talk it to each other, and uh, uh, work out some practices. And therefore, I'm also uh, working in the ECAF, the European Conservation Agriculture Federation, as a member. And um, as uh, Elizabeth already told, uh, um, she, show, she showed you the the Farming for Nature Award, and I'm also get, got nominated this year for this ambassador for biodiversity. So I'm very proud of that. Let's see where the election goes. Um, for for the farming, um, I'm farming on my family farm for now about 15 years. And um, my farm is a bit different because I'm very uh, interested in biodiversity and uh, and over the CA, as you can see, I'm only do uh, my farm no-till, so I don't do any tillage to get the, the mulch on the soil uh, to get more um, beneficial insects in this in this uh, crop uh, in this um, soil protection uh, layer and um, I also I'm also in um, I'm uh, my farm is in some of um, Austrians uh, research projects on soil health and beneficial insects from the University Boku from Vienna and also from the University of Innsbruck and I think that's enough of my farm. So now I'm talking about my uh, experiences in the training system of the ÖPUL or the, the Austrian Environmental Program. Um, Thomas and Elisabeth pretty, showed pretty good the different um, the different uh, participating programs you have in this big program. And for me, uh, one of the programs I'm um, participating is the UBB, the environmental friendly and biodiverse pro uh, promoting management system. Uh, therefore, I get um, money for doing more for the bio biodiversity and um, it fits my, my system on my farm very well. And um, I also need those three hours of education training that I have to get. Um, as a farmer, you can you can get those uh, training hours on different ways, as Elizabeth showed you. You can do uh, workshops, you can do uh, online courses or training sessions with uh, advisors on the fields or indoors. Um, uh, my, uh, from, from, me, from myself, I did one uh, for, as on a workshop. And now, in, since 2024, I'm also an advisor for, as a practical farmer to show uh, other farmers um, different approaches to um, get more biodiversity in your system. So I'm teaching other farmers on cover crops because cover crops are a big part in my operation. And my experience is that uh, the, the farmers, it, it, it depends on the attitude of the farmers. So as you all know, there are those farmers that are only uh, got offended with the new cap and the biodiversity uh, stuff they have to do now and to and now they have less production and and so on and they are a bit upset with this system and therefore they are don't really interested in this uh, whole educational thing but i think they just don't see the benefits um they get out of biodiversity but i hope so they will get at some point and there and then are the other farmers um i i think but that's the most part of the farmers that that do those programs they feel really motivated um on 
doing such courses because they learn they learn more for their farm. They learn things that they might have not considered yet to get a um, better outcome of the farm and to get better biodiversity. And I think it's it's pretty uh, depending on the format and on the topics that are shown in those courses. Uh, for example, I've attended the course as a as a teacher. Uh, at, I did one part on one practical part after one theoretical that an, another colleague did. And uh, those uh, theoretical courses are really interesting for me, but most of the farmers, they don't really uh, listen to the trainer because I think that's too theoretical for them or they just don't just don't really um, care about that that much. But when I started my uh, look, uh, lecture with uh, about cover crops and um, reduced tillage and crop rotation, the farmers were really interested and they really uh, were into this uh, that I was showing. So I think it's depending on the uh, on the topic that is shown, so um, so I think uh, for for the for the future for tra different trainings, uh, uh, I think it would be good to get more uh, practical farmers that have many experiences in biodiversity or biodiversity uh, supporting um, management. Uh, I think they can help other farmers really well because. They show some. They show things that um, the farmers can relate to, and that fa which farmers um, also, uh, um, yeah, they 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 see practical stuff and not theoretical. So they, I think, they are more into such things. Um, and coming to my next slide, uh, which is the second one, uh, we have a big event called Soil Evolution this year. It's the second time. Last year we've been. Uh, Two years before we've been in Germany. Um, for those uh, who are from England or from Ireland, I think they know the, the event Groundswell. And uh, Soil Evolution is pretty much the German version of uh, Groundswell. And it's a three-day festival only based on so soil health, conservation, agriculture, cover cropping, and so on. And the farmers who visit there also can get uh, their training sessions for the environmental program on this festival. So we provide a, a whole practical farmer-based event for three days in Lower Austria. It's it's based on my farm this year, and it's it's a com combined system of workshops, uh, speeches. Um, Farmer. Sorry to interrupt you, Johannes. We yeah. still see the first slide. Maybe you can okay. go to the second okay. slide. Might be very interesting okay. for us as sorry. well to see. Thanks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you see it now? Can you see it now? No, unfortunately not. No. Okay. It's bad. So let's try again. You see it now? Yes. No, it's second slide. Now? Yes, perfectly. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we have, but we also have machinery uh, um, companies showing different uh, machinery can, that can be used for managing cover crops or uh, direct drilling and so on. And um, from the last time we've made it, uh, like in 2022 in Germany, it was a great success and we hope to get the same success this year in Austria. And um, if you want to have more information, you can go on to uh, soilevolution.com. And we also, we sell the tickets there and so on. And uh, every speech that is uh, spoken on this event uh, gets recorded and all the members of our organization or the two organizations that organize it with us, the GKB from Germany and the Swiss No-Till from Switzerland, uh, the members can use the videos uh, to educate themselves after the event in winter or so on. We have a big database online um, for streaming. So I think that's all I can tell you about. Uh, I hope there was something for you to um, get a sight on our farmer, on the farmers that have to educate themselves for this system. And um, I'm like 20 minutes in this 
uh, call uh, still, and you can write me any questions if you want. Thanks. For further information, you can visit the Modern Acres website at modernacres.eu or do follow us on social media.